Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Morning Markets on Friday, the 6th of March. A couple of things that we've touched on in our morning meeting that I'd like to share with you. One is the, the ongoing volatility that we're continuing to see in markets. And I think it's very important that when we're talking about this, we define it as to what we're talking about. We're talking about volatility primarily that we're seeing in the equity market. That's what the media is reporting on. And the media is reporting on some of the weakness that we've seen there. What's not been reported on is the strength that we've actually seen in, in government bond markets, so sovereign bond markets, UK gilts, US treasuries, etc., where we're actually seeing a positive performance. So that's something that I think is worth noting. It's also important to think about that in the terms of diversification. What do we offer our clients at True Potential? We offer diversified multi-asset solutions where, yes, we do have exposure to equity, but we also have exposure to other financial instruments, such as government bonds, such as alternative instruments, such as gold and precious metals, things that are negatively correlated with the equity market and are providing diversification within a multi-asset portfolio solution. It's also easy to get caught up in the, the news headlines at this point in time. If we take a little bit of a step back and we look at some of the economic data that we've seen over the past couple of days, there's some positives in that. Now, I accept that that was pre-coronavirus, but we, what did we see? We saw Germany, German factory orders actually improve in, in January. That gives you some indication that as we work our way through the impact of the coronavirus, there is some underlying improvement that we were seeing. Now, granted, that may be muted, but it is a, is a positive that we see there. Also, if we look at the UK this morning, we've UK house price data, which is, again, incrementally positive, supporting that improvement that we've seen in UK economic indicators post the election. So easy to focus in the headlines. It's important that you take a step back and look at what's happening behind some of those headlines. Join us again next week for, for more Morning Markets. Thank you.